Good morning, friends. I hope you have had a great day and you are enjoying the wonderful weather outside and getting outside to do lots of playing. Today, Mrs. Scott read you the book, Bee and Me. And in the book, the bee does lots of moving. He zigs and he zags and they flutter and jiggle and jaggle and move all around. So we are going to do some writing today. So you will need a piece of paper and a crayon or a pencil. So the first thing that we're going to do, we read, we hear is that the bee goes zigzag. So I want you to get your crayon or your pencil and make sure you're holding it with a proper grasp. Get those other fingers tucked in. Hold it with three fingers. So you can hold it like this if you have a small crayon with your thumb finger behind. So to zig and zag, we start, and we're gonna start down this time. We're gonna go up on a diagonal line and then down. We're gonna stop at about the same point that we started. Go up and down, up and down. And these are all diagonal lines. We're gonna try and keep our tops and our bottoms at the same height. Nice job. So I'm writing on the chalkboard. If you have a chalkboard at home, or if you have an easel you can write on, or maybe you have a window that your mom might let you use a dry erase marker on, those are all great places to practice because by writing vertically like this, we're working on shoulder strength so that we can increase our endurance as we get you ready for kindergarten. All right, so we practiced one. Now we're gonna practice starting from the top and sliding down and sliding up. What letter does this look like? That's right, this is the letter V. So what we're doing is we're making lots of connecting these. And there we have our zigzags of the bee. Okay, so then the next thing we read about in our book is that the bee flies to a window. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a square. I'm going to start on the opposite side of my paper that we normally do. And you'll see why in a minute. So to do a square, line down, stop, line across, stop, line up, stop, and back to the beginning, stop. So the reason I say stop, parents, is because it helps the children realize that we need points on our square. So that they stop their line and then start again it creates that nice point. Sometimes they'll struggle and they'll go down and they'll curve their square lines. And that's not what we want. Okay, so the bee zips into a window. So I'm gonna draw a dot for my starting point. And now we're gonna try and draw a nice straight line. This might be tricky, so take your time and the bee flew into the window. Now I want you to stop right at the window. Don't go into the window. I want you to practice stopping your lines. Nice job. Okay, so then the, the boy runs over and he poses the window up. So we're gonna draw a line up. So we're gonna start at the top of our window. We're gonna go up. And then to show that he pushed the window up, we're gonna draw an arrow. So two diagonal lines. Nice job. Okay, I'm gonna erase my board. Parents, if you're using a smaller space like I am and you need to erase, let your child erase. It's great for once again improving this shoulder and it's what we call heavy work if they get wiggly and jiggly and might need a a little break when we're doing something hard. All right, I'm gonna change my color because it's fun. Next thing we're gonna do, the bee 
struts and jags and zigs and zags and jitters. So we're going to do like a bee would go hopping from flower to flower. We're going to do a rainbow. Oh, you can't see that. Let me change my color. How's that? Ooh, not so good. Okay, I'll go back to my original color. Hold on. Like that. So we're going to do bumps. So you go up the same line and then rainbow. Up the same line and rainbow. Up the same line and rainbow. Parents, if your child is having a little bit of a hard time, you can start by doing you doing it in pencil and having them trace in a crayon. Or you can do hand over hand to help them until they learn the pattern. This might be a little bit of a tricky one, but I think we can try. So now we're gonna do it so we'll go the other way. What letter does this look like? You're right, it looks like a letter U. So go down and back up. Down and back up. Like this. Nice job, everybody. So all of these things are things that should be practiced lots and lots and lots. So you can stop the video and practice the same writing multiple times before you move on to the next one. Okay, one more thing. So the bee talks about how he gets pollen from a flower. So let's draw a flower. I'm going to start with a circle for the middle like this. Now remember when we do our circles we start at the top. We go around now I'm going to draw bumpy leaves, so I'm going to start like this and do a bump. Then I'm going to go around and around and around like this, not touching the middle of the circle this time. And back to the beginning. Now a flower has a stem and then it has leaves. Now look at all of my lines. They're all touching, connected, and closed, just like we need to write our letters. All right, let's try one more flower. Start with this circle in the middle again. Okay, now, I'm not very good at this one, good morning, so I'm gonna all try my me. best. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. For Just all. like that. Today's high is 57 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this activity. I'm really we sorry for the announcements at the end. Today. And I hope for you guys have a great day and enjoy the sunshine. Barbecue Bye. Pork.